Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Kiara and today we're going to talk about some vital things you need to know before you study computer science in South Africa. So let's get started. Number one, the college handbook is your best friend. UKZN has four colleges and the college handbook is basically your number one guide for anything you need to know about your degree. These handbooks are free to download on the UKZN website. I've also linked them in the description below. Computer Science falls under the College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science. The handbook has the complete module structures of all the degrees under this college, a list of lecturers and their contact email addresses, the dean's contact email, a list of all the modules under a school, information such as the number of lectures, tutorials and practicals a specific module has, and how to calculate your final mark. Number 2. How to get funding. The most common funding for undergraduate degrees in South Africa is NASFIS, National Student Financial Aid Scheme. According to their website, to qualify for NASFIS, you need to be a South African, have a valid matric certificate and ID, and proof of acceptance into a higher learning institute. It's also important to note that your combined household income cannot be more than 350,000 Rand per year, and you must be pursuing an undergraduate degree. Number 3. Saving money and spending wisely. I cannot emphasize enough about how important it is to spend your money wisely while in college, funding or not. If you do get NASFIS or some other type of funding, I highly recommend saving at least 20% of it every month and only spending on things that you need or would improve your quality of life. Having some savings to fall back on once you've graduated is not only a smart decision but also a stressless and refreshing one. Don't waste your money on textbooks. College textbooks are very expensive and not everyone can just go and purchase a 500 rand book, funding or no funding. The great thing is that most college textbooks are available to download somewhere on the internet for free. I have linked below a Google Drive folder with a bunch of textbooks you use for computer science and also websites where you can download others you may need. Number 5. Computer science involves a lot of math. Calculus, linear algebra, trigonometry. I hated math and I failed my first math test in university. I was never good at math, let alone great. But I tried my best even though it looked like gibberish most of the time. Lecturers, tutors and even other students are all willing to help you. You need to figure out how you best learn, what concepts you are struggling to understand and you need to seek help immediately before it all piles up. Computer science is very interesting. Yes, even the math stuff. Computer science is really magical. I was interested in computer science because of artificial intelligence and video games and animation. All things possible through computers. If you are here because you love video games or animated movies and you want to create something like your inspirations, then you will not regret studying computer science. Number 7. The types of majors and streams of computer science in UKZN. Your major influences the modules you will do in third year. Within computer science, a student can major in comp and IT, or comp and stats, or comp and math, or do a double comp major. To decide your majors, I recommend researching what you want to do with a degree after you graduate and what are your own capabilities like. Some majors require that you have greater math skills, while others may focus more on something like databases or systems design. Number 8. Learn how you learn and organize yourself. With online studying, you can create your own timetable. Lectures are recorded for you to watch at your own time. What I do is I usually have four modules per semester and to function best, I like to focus on one module at a time. So I dedicated a day of the week to focus on only one module, finish whatever practice, tutorials or studying that needs to be done on that day. I also recommend that you study consistently a little bit every day since day one. Set studying hours during the day with no distractions at all. Figure out how you best study the content for a module. Use mind maps, draw diagrams, print out the notes if you need to. Watch YouTube videos, make summaries or a combination of all. The campus lands. 
Because you're studying computer science, there are some programs and software that you need installed on your laptop or computer, such as IDEs like Wing, Eclipse, IntelliJ, Unity. If you don't have these resources, there are LANs, local area networks, on campus with rooms of computers already installed with everything you need and plenty of storage space. Number 10. Class Rep. Is it worth it? Each module has a student elected class representative whose job is to communicate the student's concern to the lecturer and if need be, the lecturer will escalate it to the dean of the school. You can nominate yourself as a class rep for students to vote for you. Of course, it is additional work, so only nominate yourself if you know for sure that you are organized enough to handle being the middle person between your peers and your lecturer. Number 11. Group Assignments some modules in third year have group assignments. These can be a headache, especially if your group members aren't putting in as much effort as you or if you are the shy type of person. Usually these assignments require you to either work in pairs or in a group of no more than five members. You require to submit your entire project and often a demonstration video and a written report as well. My advice for working effectively in a team, especially with strangers, is to get familiar with each other's style of communicating, find some common interests for you guys to talk about, and remember to be empathetic with each interaction. Number 12. How to become a tutor. In third year and above, students have the opportunity to apply to become a tutor for first or second year modules. This is a paid job. You get paid 4,000 Rand for the entire semester that you were a tutor. When you begin third year, an email will come around to announce that they are taking applications for tutors. You get to select what first or second year module you'd like to tutor. If you're selected, then you'll be required to fill out a form with your banking and personal details. Once you are a tutor for a module, you will start receiving emails from the lecturer of that module to outline what they need you to do and how to go about doing it. Your tasks as a tutor can include marking tracks or tutorials or attending live Zoom tutorial sessions. Number 13. Programming Languages To be a well-versed computer scientist, you have to know multiple programming languages or at least be familiar with different languages. In first year, we did Python as an introduction to programming. Then we learned Java, C++, C Sharp, Assembly, Linux and JavaScript. I recommend following a crash course online to help familiarize yourself with a new language. It's also a good idea to practice programming in a new language as much as you can. I found that handwriting a Hello World program or other basic programs can help you get into a new language. Number 14. Remember to do the things you love and take regular breaks. In first year, a math lecturer told us that for the next three years, we shouldn't be doing anything else besides studying. I strongly disagreed with him. As much as this degree is important, your mental health is more important. And that brings me to my next point. University is difficult. There were many times I considered dropping out because the content was so difficult and the stress was overwhelming and I couldn't handle the anxiety. This is a completely normal feeling because university is difficult. The work is difficult. The amount of time you need to put in is demanding. The tests are stressful. Waiting for your results is anxiety inducing. Often, people glorify getting a degree and getting a job after that. Never mind that we're just kids, that we just left grade 12, which was already so stressful. But not everybody can get a degree and that's okay. It doesn't mean you're not intelligent or not smart. You gotta redefine what you think smart means to you. Sometimes, recognizing that university isn't for you and maybe you'd like to start a business or freelance your passions online. Sometimes, that's smart. And that was 15 things you should know before studying computer science. Some of these points can be applied to other disciplines as well. I hope this video was insightful and helpful to you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment them and I'll do my best to answer. Don't forget to subscribe for more computer science videos as soon as I publish them. Until next time.